Hello, my friends. It's me, Matthew. Welcome to another 20-minute practice. I'm giving you a big high five. Let's get onto our mat, separate our feet hip distance apart, and hang forward and hang down. It's another one of our 10 soulful yoga mantra classes. This one's entitled, Relax. (laughs) It's pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a few more breaths in this forward bend. One of the 10 pieces of the yoga puzzle, in my opinion, is just to learn to relax well, to unwind, to rest, and to see the benefit of that and the value of relaxing. So that's our focus today. Right from that forward bend, let's just roll all the way up to standing. Lift your arms up to the ceiling and sky. Take a big breath in and fold back down to the floor from there. Let's do that again. Let's roll up to standing. Let's lift our arms up. Take a big breath in. Arch back a little bit. Fold back down to the floor from there. Good. Let's separate our feet a little wider than our mat. And our right hand stays down. Take your left arm up and twist your body to the left here. The music's going to be a little more mellow than usual because I want to just bring in that ease, peacefulness, and relaxation into our practice today. Bring that hand down to the floor. Take that opposite arm up as we twist the other way here. Deep breaths now that you're in the pose. Bring that hand down to the floor. One more time. Let's roll up to standing. Lift your arms, take another big breath in, arch back, fold back down to the floor from there. Let's walk it back into down dog from there. Just start to pedal your legs out, bend one knee, bend the other knee, let your calves open up one at a time. Keep your heels down evenly. And come down to your knees, so we're on our hands and knees. Separate your knees a little wider. Turn your right palm up. Slide that hand and arm inside that left hand. Rest on your right shoulder and the right side of our head as they come down. Just twisting your body this way. A few big breaths and a nice gentle spinal twist here. Bring it back up to your hands and knees. Let's take the other side. Turn that left palm up. Rest on your left shoulder, the left side of your head here. A couple big breaths like this. Just try to relax in every single pose that we come into. Really want to train us to see this as valuable and what we can benefit from just relaxing and embracing that energy of relaxation. Bring it back up to your hands and knees. Let's come back up into down dog from there. And in down dog, let's come forward into plank. Lower down from there, maybe from your knees. Uncurl your toes, arch your back up. And back into down dog after that. Let's do that one more time. Come forward into plank. Lower down when you're ready. Uncurl your toes, arch your back up. And back into down dog. Awesome. (laughs) Let's take that right leg up in the air. Let's come into warrior one. Bring that foot up and warrior one on this side to begin. Take low in that front leg, just a couple breaths here. And open it up into warrior two next. And let's come into triangle. So straightening your right leg. Bring your right hand down your shin or ankle as that left arm reaches up. Really focus on the stretch in this, on the inside of that right leg. Breathe deeply and just relax into this triangle. Let's come back up to warrior two. Just a couple more breaths here. Good, and sweep your hands down to the floor. Let's just step back into down dog from there. 
other side. Take that left leg up in the air. Come into warrior one. Bring that foot up on this side. Turn that back foot down. Warrior one starts us off. And warrior two is next from there. Good, now it's triangle. Straightening your left leg. Bring that left hand somewhere down that shin or ankle as that right arm rises up here. You can feel that deep stretch on the inside of that leg. Just feel if you can relax into this pose. Let's come back up into warrior two from there once again. Good, and sweep your hands down to the floor. Step your way back into down dog from there. From down dog, just walk or hop your feet up to your hands. Let's come into a chair pose. Just sink low in your legs. Arch your back a little bit. Walking down the avenue. Then fold it down, straighten your legs. Separate your feet about as wide as your hips. And as you fold down, take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers back there. Take them off your back as far as you want. So your shoulders start to open up here. I borrowed all your records. You borrowed mine from me. Good, release your hands down. Let's roll up to standing. Lift your arms up to the sky. Take a big breath in with me. And let's bring our hands together and at our heart. We're staying standing. And bring your feet all the way together. Let's take tree pose. So bring all your weight to your right leg. And left foot is either up inside your calf or up inside that right thigh, wherever you'd like. Set it up as you balance on that right leg. So take me back. And hands together so at your heart. In about 30 seconds, look at one spot. You want to keep your balance. Try to keep the relaxation in this balance here. pose of tree pose here. That we were blind to the burdens we would shoulder and the struggles we would find. But growing me. Strong as Last few breaths. Maybe reach your arms up to the sky if you want to make it a little harder. Or maybe look higher. Bring your hands down. Bring that foot down. And let's set up the other side. All your weight in the other leg. Foot up inside that calf or the thigh. And hands at our heart. Okay, let's find our starting place. About 30 seconds here. Find a place where you're just relaxing as you balance here. Maybe your arms reach up to the sky for a few more breaths. Do you remember? Like I remember. Beautiful. Bring your hands down and foot back down. Bring your arms by your side. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, we fold all the way back down to the floor. Let's walk back into down dog from there. Take me back. From down dog, take that right leg up in the air. One time, bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. Set that right foot up inside your hand and drop your left knee down. Then reach your arms up in an easy crescent with that knee down on the floor. Arms rise up. You decide how much you bend that right leg here. Now bring your hands together at your heart. Bring your left tricep on the right thigh as we twist right here in a crescent twist with that left knee down. If you're trying to find love, know it's hard to keep Even when it gets tough and you want to Good, look down. Bring your hands to the floor. Let's just step our way back into down dog from there. 
other side. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. Step that foot up inside your left hand. Drop your right knee down. And then your arms rise up in this version of Crescent. Bring your hands together at your heart as we twist left on this side. Instead of a striving, super athletic feeling, try to relax, bring relaxation into the pose here. Bring your hands down to the floor. Just step back. Let's go to child's pose from there on your hands and knees. Just sit back on your heels. Good. This one should feel easy to relax in. One more big breath here in child's pose. And come up to your hands and knees from there. Let's come into pigeon on our right side. Bring that right leg and shin up. Left leg goes back. In almost a minute here on this first side, find your starting place on your forearms. Let your head come down. And as you relax into this, let your muscles open up on their own. If you want to take a different hip opener, go right ahead and take that. But every exhale, just repeat the word relax to yourself. See how much your body does just that. Take one more deeper breath here. Two separate time zones. Either way we go. And when you're ready, lift your head, straighten your arms. Make your way either to down dog or just your hands and knees. And when you're ready, set up the other side. So pigeon or whatever you'd like. Find your starting place in about a minute here again. And once you've found your starting place, repeat that mantra that we're working on today. Relax, bring that into the pose with every exhale especially. See you smile everywhere I go. You're the only one I want to hold. If you're down a ride, then I'm down a road. Ride around and kick it like a rodeo, yeah, yeah. We can make the news or we can let go. Ain't no need to do a single thing just cause they say so. What the hell do they know? Bending all the rules gonna put you in a rainbow, yo. And me is perfect timing. Looking like an angel in this lighting. Maybe you will start the way you shine. One more big breath here for us. Fantastic. Lift your head, straighten your arms, sweep that right leg around and forward. Extend both legs straight out in front of you. Your legs are together and out. Take your arms out and down your legs. Clasp your hands wherever they land on your legs or ankles or feet. About a half a minute or so like this, just continue to relax, especially on those exhales. That's our spiritual yoga work today. Constant in my attention, yeah, you own that Talk to me, love that sound You know the lock screen, the only time I'll keep you in the background Either me or you got a pack now I could come to you or book you a ticket I'll put the cash down Lay away, exhaustible weed 
stay up talking till we fall in asleep, yeah. Would you mind if Good. I Let's train? roll up from here. Roll onto your back. Let's take plow pose, unless you'd rather take something else. But if it is plow, sweep your legs up and over your head. Just breathe into your neck and your upper back. And bring your hands to your lower back to keep you there. And you can stay here for 30 seconds or turn it to shoulder stand for 30 seconds. Whatever you want. If you're in shoulder stand, make your way back into plow. From plow, roll your back down to the floor from there. Let's come into happy baby. Reach inside your knees. Grab the outside of your feet from there. I absolutely love the strength practices. But later in my life, in my yoga career, I started to enjoy these kind of practices equally as much. I love what it does for my system, my mind, my sense of peace. It's something different than the strength side gets to, but they're both equally as important to make a whole human being. Let's release our feet from there. Hug your right leg into your body. Let your left leg reach out on the floor. Let's come into a nice long twist. Left hand takes that knee to the left. Right arm opens out to the right. About half a minute, relax into this side as we twist here. Another man mm-hmm. Promise I'll protect you from the suffering. Bring the leg back up to center. Extend that leg out. And I just fell in love again. Switch sides, hug your left leg in. When you're ready, take it over to the right. That left arm opens out to the left. It made me feel relax into this side as well for half a minute here with me. And I promise I'll protect you from the suffering, from the suffering, ah oh, yeah. You are a gift to the world, let your light shine. Don't you forget, baby girl, to let your light shine. There's pain and I know it can get cold sometimes. But God gave us to you and he told me to let your light shine. Bring that leg back up. Extend your legs out on the floor. Don't you forget, baby girl, to let your legs Find a place where you're comfortable. There's pain and I know that it can get Close your eyes from there. But God gave us to you when he told me to let your light shine. And take a big, big breath in with me. Hold that breath in. Open your mouth, sigh that breath all out. I chose that last song because it said two things over and over, that you are a gift to the world and to let your light shine. When you relax, you feel more and more of all the goodness and the light and brightness within you. When you feel that, then you naturally express it in everything you do and everything that you are. Thank you for working on your relaxation, tapping into your inner light. And in these final minutes of Shavasana, which is a complete relaxation, surrender as deeply as you can to rest.
begin moving your fingers and toes again. And slide your heels gently back. And roll to your right side. Press your way up to sitting. Close your eyes. Bring your hands together right at your heart. We spent these 20 minutes relaxing, going inward and feeling how nice it is to be calm and slow and peaceful. And yoga has the belief system that when you're in this place, when you're in the quietness of your soul, you get to feel the presence of God or the divine or the one more and more. But you have to have effort to commune with that source. And I love that we spent the last 20 minutes doing just that, finding our truth, our happiness, and the brilliance of who we are just through relaxation. Wherever you are, Whatever you're doing today, bring that relaxed, peaceful foundation of who you are to every single thing you do and to everywhere you go. Then you are practicing a deep, deep spiritual yoga in your life. I look forward to practicing with you again and again. And from my heart to yours, namaste. I gave us a very long shavasana compared to the other nine. This was the longest because the theme was relaxation. I started getting into those dream hallucinations in shavasana, especially when I use an eye pillow. It just knocks me out because it smells like lavender. It's got that um, little pressure. I surrendered into the relaxation. Sometimes I'm thinking about the practice because I'm your teacher and I don't let myself relax. But I know for that practice, I did, and it feels great. It's a big piece of the puzzle in yoga, just to keep your body loose and relaxed and open because lots of messages are always coming in from the universe to help us out. Uh, lots of wisdom and knowledge and information. And the more relaxed we are, the more we can receive it. So keep that in mind where you go, bring it into your life today. Maybe use that relaxation meditation that I've got accompanying this yoga video, but I make all these just for us to try to evolve and get better and enjoy our lives more while we're here. It's my number one goal for these videos is to have you feel even better in your skin and in your soul. Until right, next time, sending you all my love and relaxation. Namaste.